What's up everyone, welcome to Film Spot, and today we will be talking about the best upcoming movies. Disney's beloved Moana is set to make a splash on the big screen once again, but this time in live action form. Dwayne Johnson, who voiced the demigod Maui in the original animated film, announced the exciting news via a recorded message from Hawaii during the Walt Disney Company's Meeting of Shareholders webcast. Johnson expressed his gratitude and pride in bringing the story of Moana to life in live action form. Not only will Johnson reprise his role as Maui, but Olii Cravayo, who voiced the title character Moana, will also be returning to the project in some capacity. The live action remake of Moana is expected to stay true to the original film's heartwarming tale, which celebrates the culture and traditions of Pacific Islanders. The story follows Moana on her journey of self-discovery as she seeks to pave her own path while exploring her ancestors' lives. The inspiring tale of strength, perseverance, and friendship has won the hearts of audiences worldwide and continues to do so, making it a perfect candidate for a live-action remake in many eyes, although some are puzzled by how soon the live-action remake has come along after the animated movie. Get ready to break out the marmalade sandwiches, because everyone's favorite bear is back! After a roller coaster of uncertainty, it has finally been confirmed that Paddington 3, or Paddington in Peru, will officially be hitting the big screens in 2025. And in even better news, many of the original cast members are set to return for the movie. Studio Canal CEO Anna Marsh and EVP Global Production Ron Halpern have praised debuting director Dougal Wilson, stating that they have long admired his creativity, heart, emotion, and humor and previous Paddington director Paul King has expressed his delight in Wilson taking the helm for Paddington's third adventure, describing his work as funny, beautiful, heartfelt, imaginative, and totally original. While the plot is being kept tightly under wraps, it has been confirmed that Paddington will be heading back to Peru, which fans of the series will know is his home country. With filming set to start this summer, we can't wait to see what exciting new adventures Paddington will be embarking on. In a surprising twist, Sony Pictures Animation and Sony Pictures Imageworks have announced a new short film that will accompany the release of their upcoming animated Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Titled The Spider Within, the short film follows Miles Morales as he grapples with the challenges of being a teenager and a superhero in Brooklyn. As part of the Lens Sony program, The Spider Within is an initiative aimed at providing opportunities for diverse voices in animation. But that's not all. The log line for The Spider Within promises an emotional journey as Miles confronts his anxiety and learns the importance of seeking help. This powerful message is especially timely and resonant as mental health and the need for support have become more widely recognized in recent years. And as for the main movie, with a star-studded cast featuring Shameik Moore, Haley Steinfeld, Jake Johnson, and more, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is shaping up to be a can't-miss event for fans of all ages. All rise for the King's return! Shrek and his trusty sidekick Donkey are making their way back to the big screen in a brand new adventure. And let me tell you, I feel like a thirsty man discovering an oasis in the desert. Illumination CEO Chris Melodondri has confirmed that Shrek 5 is in the works, and he's hopeful to have the original cast, including Mike Myers, Cameron Diaz, and Eddie Murphy, reprise their iconic roles. While negotiations with the actors are currently underway, Murphy has already expressed his strong interest in returning to the role of Donkey, and Melodondri is excited about the possibility of a Donkey spin-off movie. Melodondri, who is also behind the upcoming Super Mario Bros. movie, believes that audiences will love returning to the world of Shrek, and is hard at work building new story elements and characters that take us to brand new places, while no release date has been announced yet. The highly anticipated Thunderbolts movie just got a major writing upgrade. Lee Sung Jin, creator and showrunner of Netflix's hit series Beef, is taking on the writing duties for the upcoming Marvel film. This is Lee's first feature film writing credit, but he's no stranger to the entertainment industry, having previously written for Tuca and Birdie, Dave, and Silicon Valley. Lee shared in an interview with Variety that he's excited to work on the project and couldn't pass up the opportunity to be part of a Marvel film. While details about the production are shrouded in secrecy, we do know that Thunderbolts is expected to begin shooting in June and is set for release on July 26, 2024. 
Fans of the Fantastic Four rejoice, for Marvel Studios has enlisted John Friedman, a veteran of the sci-fi genre, to write the script for its highly anticipated Fantastic Four movie. Friedman, who previously worked on Avatar The Way of Water and developed Snowpiercer, is sure to bring his expertise in crafting thrilling and imaginative stories to Marvel's next big project. And that's not all. Matt Shackman, the key director behind the wildly successful Marvel series WandaVision, is set to be at the helm of the project. Fans can expect a fresh take on the iconic superhero team that introduced readers to Marvel Comics and ushered in the Marvel Age in the 1960s. While the previous writers on the project, Jeff Kaplan and Ian Springer, are known for their comedy scripts, Friedman's hire signals a potential change in tone. With his impressive resume, including War of the Worlds and Terminator The Sarah Connor Chronicles, fans can trust that Friedman will bring a unique and captivating perspective to the Fantastic Four. The movie is set to release on February 14, 2025, and will kick off Phase 6 of Marvel's storytelling universe. Flame on! The long-rumored Harry Potter TV series is finally taking shape. The biggest hurdle for the project, a deal with author J.K. Rowling, seems to have been cleared, as Warner Brothers is reportedly in talks with the Harry Potter mastermind to join the project as a producer. With Rowling on board, the project is expected to find a writer and start production in earnest. The series is expected to have one season per book in the Harry Potter series and will be produced by Warner Brothers Television. The franchise has seen tremendous success in recent years, with the 20th anniversary reunion special, the Harry Potter Hogwarts Tournament of Houses event series, and the hit video game Hogwarts Legacy. Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Zaslav has been clear that he sees the Harry Potter IP as a priority for the newly merged company. With Rowling involved, the new series is sure to capture the magic of the beloved book series and take fans on yet another adventure in the wizarding world. The Joker is back once again, and this time he's got a partner in crime. Director Todd Phillips has officially wrapped filming on the highly anticipated sequel, Joker Folia 2. And we are already buzzing about what's in store. The new movie brings back Joaquin Phoenix in his award-winning role as the titular character, and this time he's joined by none other than Lady Gaga, who will play a brand new incarnation of Harley Quinn. Phillips took to Instagram to share a sneak peek of what's in store, sharing two stunning photos of Phoenix and Gaga in character. One shot shows Gaga's detailed close-up as Harley Quinn, while the other reveals Phoenix's return as the Prince of Crime, complete with his signature painted face. But that's not all. The sequel will also surprise audiences by incorporating musical elements into the story, adding a whole new layer of intrigue to the already dark and gritty tale. While we don't know much about the plot just yet, it's safe to assume that Batman lore will play a big part and that the relationship between Phoenix's Joker and Gaga's Harley will be both twisted and romantic. With a release date set for October 4th, 2024, it's still a long way until we get to see the final product, but these tantalizing glimpses have certainly got us excited for what's to come. We can't wait to enter the dark and twisted world of the Joker once again. It's going to be one wild ride. Disney's upcoming Avatar 3 is finally set to explore diverse and never-before-seen environments. The company has recently unveiled concept art pieces teasing at what's to come in the third installment of the epic franchise, which is slated for release on December 20th, 2024. With Avatar The Way of Water hitting digital storefronts worldwide after becoming the biggest theatrical release of all time, fans can't wait to see what's next in store for the Pandora universe. The new parts of the planet will introduce a range of new characters, with production designer Dylan Cole revealing that Pandora is just as diverse as Earth, with various biomes, creatures, and peoples. The three pieces of concept art, posted online by Twitter user Discovering Pandora, showcase three new regions of Pandora. The first of these includes a volcanic biome that will seemingly be home to the film's Ash People, while another features a desert environment with floating rock structures similar to the Hallelujah Mountains. Finally, a polar landscape also teases two Navi atop a snow-capped mountain peak. While Avatar 2 expanded on the environmental horizons of Pandora, Avatar 3 will take audiences on an even greater adventure, showcasing a diverse range of environments and new Navi. 
it looks like we could once again be returning to the volatile land of Westeros to visit the story of the very first Targaryens on the continent, bringing Aegon's conquest to TV screens. According to exclusive sources, the project is still in its infancy with no writer currently attached. However, HBO is reportedly eager to move forward with the project and get it into development. There may even be a feature component with a potential feature film leading into the series. The show will explore the story of Aegon I Targaryen and his sister wives Visenya and Rhaenys as they conquer six of the seven kingdoms in Westeros and make Aegon I the king of the seven kingdoms with their army and three dragons. We might finally get to see Balerion the Black Dread after shows of seeing his skull. These events occurred approximately 300 years before the events of the original Game of Thrones series. This prequel would be the latest in a series of Westeros-based projects at HBO, including the successful House of the Dragon, which premiered its first season in August 2022 and has already been renewed for a second season. While HBO declined to comment, it's no surprise that they're eager to expand the Game of Thrones universe given its immense popularity and value as intellectual property. We will most certainly be looking forward to this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.